Pedestrians, traffic signals, other cars, there's a lot to process while you're driving. Through practice, the human brain can quickly learn to make all the necessary decisions and adjustments. But as we push the limits of what driverless cars can do, how can a machine learn to take into account all the details that driving requires? Well, almost the same way, through practice and learning, and with some help from algorithms. This is Algorithmics, the space where we explore how invisible, computer-controlled, database sets of rules are making decisions for us every day. Self-driving cars are powered in part by machine learning algorithms that improve with every test mile driven. But to do that learning, they require information from a lot of hardware. Prototype driverless cars from companies like Google, Volvo, and Audi are outfitted with a ton of sensors like cameras, radar, and lasers that scan what's going on around them in real time. Cyclists next to you, a traffic light about to turn red, a pedestrian crossing the street. This information is combined with traditional GPS data to create a sort of three-dimensional map. The self-driving car takes all of this information in and decides which action to take. Hit the brakes, make a left turn, take a detour, and they learn by driving. The cars are taken on loads of test drives, and data from the trips is fed into multiple algorithms. As more miles are logged, a machine learning approach is used to help the car better navigate traffic over time. So, for example, say a driverless car clips the edge of a traffic cone on a test drive. Next time, it might pump the brakes to avoid the mistake. But, of course, even a simple drive is much more complicated than going from point A to point B. So it takes tons of real-world experiences to train the algorithms. Google's self-driving car project, called Waymo, has two million miles of test drives under its seatbelt. And it's adding more every day, all in an effort to make sure that the algorithm is never asleep at the wheel. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.